Hi, this is George at PaintReproductions.com. Well, you've made it to the detailing episode. Uh, this is more than just the detailing. This is we're going to be doing the glazing and some detailing work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm using uh, a Dakar glaze. Uh, it's Dakar glaze, and I'm thinning it down with Gamsol. Now, I'm thinning it down because it's it is pretty thick glaze, which you'll use like when you do the eyes and stuff like that. But when we're doing a glaze of the whole all the flesh areas and stuff you want to get it thin down and the whole day, the whole point is to get I'm getting a really thin down uh kind of like a, a really thin down flesh tone and I'm going to mix that I'm going to mix the glaze and use the glaze almost like uh the glazing almost like it's almost like I'm using the paint right almost like I'm, I'm painting with it and it's a very very thin very layer I'm going to apply so I'm, I'm mixing it right now with the brown paint I'm, I'm getting it soup really, really thin. You can see I've got the glaze there. Take a little brown paint, scumble it in there. And when I mean thin, it's it's barely noticeable. And I'll show you on the I'll show you on there as soon as I'm done mixing it. Okay, and I'm just gonna cover the whole area. Now I'm not worried about being nice about it or being anything. I'm gonna grab a nice big brush and just cover the whole area. So that see that nice thin you're barely noticing it. I mean, it's just a little bit, a little, little bit of a light dark brown and I'm covering over those dark areas of the flesh tones. And into the hair, cause you wanna get it at, you wanna get it just about everywhere. I'm gonna be covering everything, the mouth, the nose, everything. Cause uh, wherever you don't want to glaze, you can just wipe it off. But I wanna cover that whole area. Anywhere that there's, anywhere I've got dark in here, that I want that shadowing, that's where I'm gonna cover it, including the dark in the hair, and you'll see I'm just about covered everywhere, even into the light, because we're gonna scumble that out. We're gonna re-add the shot, we're gonna re-add the highlights. So this what this glaze is gonna do, it's gonna darken that flesh tone a little bit every time. So you see what it's doing right there. How it just applies that and just covers that with a very thin translucent layer. I guess that's the word I was looking for earlier. So that's how thin you want it. You don't, you're not covering, you're only doing a thin, think of it like a thin film, like a clear sheet of plastic, brown tinted plastic, you're covering all the flesh tone. Okay, and while it's wet, we're gonna do what's called scumbling. That's where we're gonna work the highlights and the darks into the glaze. Okay, and when you do this enough times, you'll do this enough times, you're gonna get an effect that you can only get that effect with glaze using oils. So I'm also gonna do the hair and I'm gonna go right into the background. And you'll see when I glaze the background, I'll glaze that right into the hair too, which is how you get that, that blending effect, that uh, char curso effect, that smoothing, losing the lines, evaporating into the, the background. So right now she's got like a brownish co complexion, which is fine because that's the glaze working in. And then once this is done, you notice I've covered all the highlights and everything I was doing earlier. Don't worry about it. So now I'm actually gonna Scumble, I'm gonna glaze the whole thing. So I'm glazing that whole, that brown area that's in the back behind the chair. And I'll get that, I'll get that done. I might have to mix a little more of it. And I'm grabbing the dark, this, you know, my dark brown right there, and I'm gonna mix a little more in there. You know, kind of just scrubbing it everywhere. This lighter brown I'm doing in that lighter, lighter background area. Now this glaze is when it's thinned down with the gamsole like this, as you can see where the light's hitting it, you can see actually how, how thin of a layer I'm actually applying just in the background. The reason why I'm applying this in the background because it isn't all black. It's it's neutral toned in there. It's kind of fading into the back. So I'm just going to take a big brush now and just kind of just kind of scrub it all in. And I know the way the angle is in the light showing. It's like you look in the the top left. It doesn't really look like there's much glaze right there. Don't worry. Don't worry if you're not getting it everywhere because it's it's the kind of way the background looks. And as we do the next one in the background, you're gonna apply more and more to it anyway, as it ties it all together. But what I'm doing now is I'm adding it in and I'm along the top and then I'm gonna to like scumble, scumble it in and just kind of smooth it all in. 
So right now, if you were to press your fingertip against it, there's a thin layer of glaze over all the flesh tone and over the background. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna start doing the same thing we were doing earlier. So I'm gonna mix these flesh tones, except now I'm doing a little more pinkish, more of these light colors, and I'm gonna do what's called scumbling. So scumbling is you take a little bit of paint and you dab it into the highlighted areas, just like we've been doing from, from the beginning. We're gonna dab it into that highlighted area, except now it goes on a little different because you'll feel the, the thin layer of wet glaze underneath it. So it's gonna to bond to that scumble in there. Now I'm scumbling is where you see I'm kind of blending it out as I go away from the highest, the brightest part. So when you're highlighting, I put a little paint in that uh, middle, on that le her left center side and on a little flesh tone there. And you'll start to see now it starts getting an effect where it's that background is actually shining through, but it's not coming all the way through. So it's 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 layers upon layers you're going to build up like this. Now when you're doing like a Da Vinci, um, you're doing like like I'm working on the the lady with the ermine right now. This is done 15, 20 times. It's the only way you can get that effect that he gets like in the mouth and in the face and stuff like that. Is just you have to multiple multiple layers of this, so you're not trying to get it all at once. And you'll see, is I'm not leaving any buildup. I'm using that glaze. I'm using that wet glaze to smooth that that white paint in, and in turn, that gives you a it gives you a really nice effect for the paint. And it's only I'm only sped up here twice as fast, so it's not I'm not painting much. It's it only takes a few minutes to actually do the whole face area, and to do all this because I'm using bigger brushes. I'm not worrying about any detail. All I want to do is make sure I get the brighter part brighter. So all I'm doing is finding those really bright spots and dropping some paint right on there. And then I'm using that brush and I'm just taking that paint right out. Really nice touch too. I'm not, if you notice, I'm holding the brush on an angle and I'm kind of just letting the brush do the work. And uh, so I'll do that nice straight line. Then I'm gonna, as you see, as I blend it, it's on an angle. So I'm just letting the brush move around freely on an angle to kind of blend everything in using the ends of those bristles. It just takes a feel for it and the feels developed over time. You just, you don't, don't rush it. It'll come, it'll, it'll like, it, as you, as you progress and you work more and more on it, it gets a little bit easier and it gets a little bit easier as you do this, you know, and then, uh, but this is basic. This is the basic glazing method but when you get into like if you want to uh, follow some of my courses when i start doing when i'm doing the landscapes and stuff like that and you'll see me do glazing for atmospheric effects where it looks like clouds and stuff like that it's not much different than this it's just applied in different at different times and it's applied in different ways as far as moving forward and back into the painting but right now we're, we're, what i'm doing is just all i really care about right now is bringing those whites forward but not so much that I lose that underpainting, that I lose that all that work I've worked on the Grizel and everything like this. This is where having that really completed Grizel and all that work done really comes comes into play because on our next, you know, on our next layers and we start doing our highlights, this is really going to start to stand out and really start to look like a, you know, a finished portrait like this. So I've got this heavy area in the chin right there. I don't forget to keep, if you see some pink, add some pink blush in there. Scumble it in, like there, that little, like, that little twist in there. Now watch, I'll just take that right out. But be careful, don't, don't lose some of that detail you've worked on. When in doubt, only use a little bit and do multiple coats. So until you feel really comfortable, don't try and do, you may do this in two sittings instead of me just doing it in one. Uh, because it's just, I spent a lot of time working with a lot of different glazes and stuff like that to really find out the way I want it to look. And on this case right here, this is how his, this is how I wanted his to look. Now, if I was really reproducing this and I was, if I was reproducing and I wanted to do a perfect copy where I was doing the hair perfect and everything like this, there would probably be 10 or 12 layers of this done on her face. But for this kind of a project right here for what I'm doing on, we're okay with like three or four. Again, I'm gonna use my finger to smear it in, blend it all in, I wanna tie it in, because even though if you look on her right side, your left looking at the screen, there is still light colors in there. It's not just a dark shaded area. So those are areas we're gonna work on. You can see that now, except the difference is, now I'm not using the white paint, 
I'm using the one that's a little bit darker flesh tone. And I'm kind of blending that in and blending that in. I don't ever forget that secondary shadow. That that little shadow right there is so important on getting the, the right look. So I'm going to lighten this up a little bit. And I'm going to pull that and I'm going to kind of take all that paint and just kind of move it right around. Blend it until it's almost gone. And if I have to, I could pull some paint from the other side. Oh, let's see, I'll keep writing, adding that bright, bright, bright. And you'll see what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to, toward the end, I'm just going to take a bigger brush and just kind of blend it all together. As you see how I blend this out right now. See, I'll take a bigger brush and just kind of blend it all out. It's like a big makeup brush. And I, this is a great brush. The trick is with this one, when you're using this big powder brush like this, don't wash it. Uh, just use a paper towel. In fact, I barely ever wash your brushes. If you want your brushes to last, even inexpensive brushes, wipe all the paint off on a paper towel, and then barely put it in the Gamsol, and then just wipe it off with the painter, paint towel and, and tape, and uh, kind of taper it with your fingers and rinse off that. And you'll find your brushes will last twice, you know, twice as long as normal as if you scrubbed them on the bottom of that Gamsol. So I want to thank.